How useful was the uh, behind closed door game against uh, Harrogate? Yeah, it's been a good week for us. Um, we've managed to get uh, a good training load into the to the players um, with the game and also on the training ground. Uh, it's been a it's been a positive week. Uh, in terms of that, obviously disappointed to to hear the game was called off last weekend, but it's it's given us an opportunity to to work on the Saturday and into this week as well. Um, so some players coming back from fitness. And Keeve had a look in scored. Uh, what what's he going to bring? Still yeah, Hakeem's a good player. Um, you know, like I said, I used to had I had him at Hull. I know he's about. He's uh, very positive in his play. Um, good going forward. Good on. Good on transitions. Good at you know creating and, and scoring goals. So um, I think he'll he'll add a lot to our team and a different dimension to our team. Was it was it the case of getting the deal over the line? Had you been chasing him for for a while? Yeah, we knew about him in the summer. Um, we thought we had a possibility, a chance of getting him in the summer, but for one reason or another, it never happened. Uh, and then he obviously found himself in Lincoln's team. And when he's left us, I think he's Lincoln's leading goal scorer in open play this season. So it's a good, uh, it's a good coup for us. And um, you know, we just seen obviously just in that bounce game we had at Harrogate, his qualities and what he can bring, not only just his goal but his general play. Uh, and in that game, he played in three or four different positions. He played as a 10 off the left, off the right, um, and drifting sometimes as a number eight. So he's uh, he's very flexible in terms of how he plays. And I think that's the way modern football's going. Um, that particularly at the top end of the pitch, you need to be flexible and fluid as a front player um, and not, uh, you know, um, pigeonhole yourself into one position. And for us, we like to, to have that with, with our front players. A really good win against Wigan in the Bristol Street Melrose uh, Trophy. How important is this uh, cup competition for you? <clears throat> well, it's uh, it's an opportunity for us to to see how far we can go. I don't, I've always said, you know, um, it'd be nice to to see if we can get to Wembley, but it's it's tough. There's obviously good teams left in the competition, but we'll, we'll give it we'll give it our best shot and see see what we can see what we can do. Um, it's it's obviously a competition. Right, it, 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 oh, sorry. So yeah, so it's obviously a competition I know, and um, myself I've played in it and I've won it, I've won it and I've lost it the final. So it's a, it's an amazing day for everybody um, and fans included if you can get to the final. But like one step at a time. Next game is obviously Tuesday night, but that'll come into our thinking after the after the game on Saturday. Yeah, of course. Um, Owen Bailey, really good performance uh, in midfield. I know he's been playing a lot in the, in the back for you. Is that a little bit of a dilemma? Or a good dilemma. Um, he's uh, look. I think wherever Owen plays, he he, he puts a real shift in for the team. Um, he's a he's versatile. That's again a huge reason why we brought him to the football club. He's played in numerous positions for us already this season and uh, plays every single one of them really well. So it's uh, wherever he plays, um, we know we're going to get a, a strong performance from Owen. Uh, just just on the injury front, Grant, uh, um, what what is it looking like with Jack Senior and, and Jamie Sterry? Could they be back for Stockport? What's their how, how are they looking? Pleasing uh, news on the injury front. Actually, it's uh, it's the best we've been uh, all season at this moment in time. Um, that good that we've we've had to create a different group on the training ground. Um, and when I say a different group, group uh, a group that. You know, we, we're working with 20. There's a, probably a group of four or five um, on another pitch just because we can't fit them all into the session um, and working on the opposition. So that's how strong we are now. We, we feel like we're getting players back. Um, obviously, you've seen Richard Wood came back. James Maxwell came back on Tuesday. Jamie Sterry and Jack Senior trained today um, are back on the grass. Uh, we've obviously, in between that, we've lost Bobby Faulkner to just a... Uh, twist his ankle in, 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 in training with nobody around him. I don't think it's going to be too severe, thankfully. I don't think he's probably three, four weeks. Um, but apart from Bobby and the long-term ones, um, the squad is definitely stronger um, and looks a lot stronger from, from the last time we went to Stockport when no fault to their own. You know, We had some young players on the bench there and the difference in that game that day, I felt, was the, was the changes of 
Stockport's bench, um, which possibly won him the game in the end. Richard Wood, like you just mentioned, he, he played against Harrogate. Uh, firstly, how's he looking after the game? Was he how was he feeling after a little bit of time out? Yeah, a little bit stiff, as as expected of a thirty seven year old, thirty eight year old, I think whatever he is. Um, but it's nice to have Woody back. He's had probably about seven or eight days leading into that game. He had it. We had a game on Saturday at the at the training ground in terms of a the, uh, eleven v eleven. Uh, but an intense game. Um, it was only 50 minutes, but Woody's covered more distance and more high speed running, more sprint distance in that and in, in that than he did in any game um, previous to that. So he's had a good Saturday, he's had a good Monday, he's had a good Tuesday playing 60 minutes. Um, so he definitely comes into the contention for Saturday. Um, uh, just just finally on the injury front, uh, Tom Anderson is also back as well. Yes. Tom will be available as well. Brilliant. Um, just on to, on to the weekend, Grant, how, how tough a test will, will stop what be? Yeah, it's, it's going to be a tough test. Obviously, they're top of the league for, for a reason and at this moment in time, the best team in the league. Um, so, uh, like every game, they're tough. Um, we, we've prepared this week. We're focused on us. We want to try and continue the the positive performance that we've shown over the last five games and I know there's been two defeats in that um, I still feel there was a large uh, elements of our game at Harrogate, Harrogate that was strong and predominantly all the game here against against Newport that was strong so um, we want to continue what we've shown over them over them last five games with those performances because we can continue that I've no doubt results will follow so um, you know, we've had a really good performance in our last game here against Wigan, particularly second half. Um, so if we can produce that again, then I'm sure we'll give Stockport a good game. I think that you've mentioned in, in past interviews as well, and we've spoke about like the like the consistency levels. Is this what it's all about now, building on that victory against Wigan? Uh, even though it's a tough game against Stockport, you've obviously got more than enough to go and get the victory. Yeah, consistency levels... Um, has been a problem for us this season, of course, but um, it's been a bit of a stop-start season for us up to this point. We're just hoping now we can keep everybody fit. I know people might think, well, he's moaning about injuries. I'm not. It's just more important for the players who are fit to have that competition, which obviously breeds their their their, their play to, to be more consistent. So um, Because they know if they don't, then there's going to be somebody underneath them that will come and take their place. Um, so that's, that's, I feel, is something I think will be hugely beneficial for us, you know, for the next 19 games in the, in the league, um, having that strong squad to call upon and, and also not to be flogging people consistently, um, which again can, can, can lead to inconsistency. Yeah, because like, like you've said, you, you haven't had it a lot this season where you've had so many players return from injury, so it is now the case with players on form and then you've got someone knocking on your door and they saying, why, come on, can I can I get a game now? I'm ready. Yeah, and and that's the way I've always managed. Really, is is you know players are playing well. They'll they'll keep their shirt in the team unless there's a, a tactical change that we want to make uh, for 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 an opposition. Um, but it's nice to have that competition now that we know that. For example, on Saturday we're going to have a bench of seven uh, as per normal, but there's going to be four or five, maybe six or seven, I think. The last account might have been six or seven um, bodies left at the training ground to train, which tells you how strong we're going to be. Um, and, and if we can keep that level of uh, players available from now to the end of the season, I think we'll have a we'll have a good back end of the season for sure. And uh, finally, just from me, um, any more additions coming into January? Be close to anything? I'm just wondering whether. Do you, do you want a direct replacement for, for Mel Falsies? He's gone back to West Brom. No, we we um, like I said, like I just mentioned there. I think it's important to have players that are, that are flexible um, in their positioning and, and and adaptable and willing to learn and, and play in different roles. And hence why we brought Hakeem Adelikin in. Um, you know, we feel like we've got good options up there now. We've got seven players for three positions, uh, and. Nearly all of them can play in different different positions and different roles. So it's um, we're pleased with the with the with the numbers that we've got up there. So would you say that's kind of January transfer window done for you, barring any late kind of moves out or into the club? 
Yeah, there'll definitely be more news out. We're still trying to look to, to, to let some of the players go out and play some football. Um, we've got had quite a bit of interest in Jack Goodman um, from, from National League and, um, and, other, and other countries as well. Um, so it's, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll have to pick the tough, for me, we have to pick the right move for Jack because we feel that he's got a huge future at this football club. Um, so we'll see how that progresses over the next day or two. Um, but there's definitely um, lots, of, lots of people looking, looking at Jack and it doesn't surprise me given the fact that he's an exciting young player. I know he hasn't scored yet for, for the football club but his movement, the way he works, we see him every day. He's probably one of the, the cleanest finishers we have um, but needs games. Young player, wants to go out and, and develop. So we'll, we'll see how that goes and there's been interest in other players as well. So we'll see how it goes over the next few days.